Yeah. So first step is first step you people need to focus is okay personalism topic draw all possible diagrams satisfying the given statements in the question right after that after that what do you need to do one second some people are asking some questions here yeah, yeah fine so draw all possible diagrams satisfying the given statements so how to draw the diagrams see suppose you have a statement like all a or b if you have a statement like all a or b all a or b like this you draw the diagram this diagram also correct for all a or b next so i have a statement called sum x or y sum x or y then you draw like this some part of x are equal to y this one okay this one also correct this is entire x area try to understand this diagram a lot of people are missing this is also correct this is entire x area some part is occupied by y some part is occupied by y and among x area some part is occupied by y this is also important okay next one no p is q no p is q means p and q are not connected these are the general statements you will get. Okay, this is how you need to draw the diagrams. There will be some different statements. How to draw the diagrams? I'm just giving the individual statement. There will be the combination, then you have to use the combination of this. I repeat, satisfying the given statements, you need to draw the diagrams. Right. Then after this, sir, what to do? After this, second step is. Second step is given conclusion is true if it satisfies. See, the statement completed. Okay. In question, what they are giving? Statement and conclusion both are giving. With respect to statement, to draw a diagram. Okay. Then, given conclusion is true if and only if it satisfies all diagrams. Okay. If oh, if it satisfies all diagrams. It should satisfy all diagrams here. If it satisfies all diagrams, then only given conclusion is true. If it satisfies all diagrams. Right. But here, two points to be updated. Okay, given conclusion is true if it satisfies all diagrams. Okay. But one important situation, listen, this situation, you may have options. Look into the options also once. If you have either or, you have an option called either or means either a or b what is the meaning either a or b means if a is true b false if b is true a false both to true at a time is not either a or b both false at a time is not either a or b right so it's not about okay either a, R, B, and all. So please look into that. Related to pseudo code, also one video I'm going to share in that group. Okay, don't worry. Either R means okay, one among that must be true. Now see here, either R fine. So in conclusion one, conclusion one is true in few diagrams. Conclusion one is true in few diagrams. And conclusion two and conclusion two is true in remaining diagrams then we have to go for either one or two my dear friend listen when why you are getting that either our options is like this first one true in few diagrams and second one true in remaining diagrams so one among that is true in all diagrams right see if it is true in all diagrams fine directly you take it correct okay when you will get either or is first one true in few diagrams Second one true in remaining diagrams, then you are going to get either our option. But one more important thing before concluding this syllogism basic input is they use the word maybe or possibility. If they use the word maybe or possibility in conclusion, in given conclusions, maybe or possibility is mentioned, is given. 
is given in conclusion then okay maybe our possibility is given in conclusion then satisfying one diagram also you have to consider as a true satisfying one diagram also you have to consider as a true yeah your conclusion is true if they use the word maybe or possibility maybe or possibility in okay if they mentioned in the conclusion if it satisfies one diagram also then you can consider right so this is the very 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 important instructions okay for syllogism okay you have to satisfy the given diagram draw the diagrams according to that and that statements may be see they given the question that statement may be contradicting your common facts yeah that statement what are they given you consider as a true suppose they'll say all men are dogs it's false all men are dogs are women all women are cats it is false but for that question you need to consider as a true even it's contradict from common facts what are the statement they given okay you know common facts also uh, known facts also if it is contradicting also you consider it's a true for that question we don't have other go for that given question you need to consider as a true and one more important point before ending this okay i'm going for the questions after this it's not about how many questions we are done it's about the clarity you people require yeah so one important stuff okay important point is if they given all x or y you can consider some x or y what is this sir i'll explain don't worry if all x or y is there some x or y is true and if no p is q or no l is m is mentioned what is no l is m you know all l are not m that's what the meaning no l is m means all l are not m whenever all is there we can substitute as some so in place of all you can put put some so some l are not m is correct this is going to disturb almost in every question i'll give the proof for this don't worry whenever all x or y is there if some x or y is obviously true when no l is m l and m not connected some l or not m can be taken true it is also true how all this happens sir i'll give one simple example like i have a statement all students are clever all students are clever this is the statement conclusion you tell is this correct or not students in my class are clever students in my class are clever is it correct or not please depends on the given statement you need to decide the conclusion right conclusion is always true conclusion means always true definitely true is this conclusion correct or false always true definitely true is what conclusion is all about if all students are clever students in my class are clever obviously right yeah students in my class means definitely some students right students in my class means not all entire world people right so students in my class means some students so some students are clever you are agreeing so when all students are clever you are deciding that some students are clever is true that's what i said here that's it that's the proof that's what i'm telling you whenever all is there i can write some whenever all is there i can write some whenever all is there i can put some no l is a meaning is all are not a only whenever all is there some this is the basic input related required for handling syllogism concept i repeat in syllogism first step draw all possible diagrams satisfying the given statements when how to draw the diagram i given here once diagrams are completed once diagrams are completed next step is they give some conclusions in the question you can have a glance here one sample question yeah here they given statements here they given conclusion right first your job is satisfying the statement draw the diagrams okay then 
you have to see which conclusion this conclusions are given right is it true or false if it is true in all diagrams that is correct or else we need to think about either or also see they given either or options that's what i am discussing there in the procedure i clearly mentioning that only once you draw the diagram next to job is given conclusion is true in di all diagrams or not if it is true in all diagrams that is correct only or else you need to think about either or option also first one true in few diagrams second one true in remaining diagrams then you go ahead both true in same diagram it's not either or both false in the same diagram it's not either or and one more specialty now they given in all companies and all government sector jobs is to give the difficulty they are using the word maybe or possibility when they use the word maybe or possibility satisfying one diagram also you should consider and every question one thing going to disturb us is whenever all is there you can take some whenever no is there you can take some not in short i can write okay whenever all is there you have to take some you can take some not reverse case when all is there take some whenever some is there all is not correct all is there you can take some when no is there you have to take some not is allowed when no is there taking some not is allowed this is the procedure dear right 